from something really different for you guys. I filmed a fully matte smoky eye. Normally I'm all about the glitter life, but this time I want to do something really nice and classic. You guys always ask me how do I get that inner point corner eyeliner thing, and hopefully I kind of explained how I do it in this tutorial. It's super, super easy, just takes a bit of practice. If you guys have something like prom or a special event coming up that you just want to look really nice and timeless for, this look is for you guys. So if you want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. So let's get started with the tutorial. I've got on my base my highlight already. I have got separate videos on how I do my full coverage foundation base for events and photos and stuff and I'll link that up here as well as I've also got another video on how I achieve my eyebrows, the ombre Instagram brows. Yes! Of course I want to keep you guys on your toes so you guys can keep coming back for more. So I am going to change it up today and challenge myself to do a pure matte smoky eye and not get tempted by my glitter drawer. <laughs> it's going to be hard girl! Anyways, I'm going to use quite an affordable palette today because so many of you guys like my affordable tutorials. So I'm going to be using this palette. This is from a brand called Nip and Fab. You can get it inside Superdrug in the UK or I'm going to try to find a link for it down below. This is their eyeshadow palette. I think there's just one type. I don't think they do another one. This is just like a pure basics palette and I love the fact that most of the colours are matte. Alright guys, so whenever you do matte eyeshadow, it's very, very important that you need to prime your eyes really well because matte eyeshadows, they tend to look a bit more chalky. So if you don't prime your eyes well, your eyelids will literally get like all greasy. The matte eyeshadow won't go on as smooth. So I'm going to be using my favourite eyeshadow primer. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is from Urban Decay. It's called their Primer Potion. This is like so old and it's like the small little one. But I love the fact they changed the packaging now so you can kind of squeeze and get every little drop out this is the original one i think they do like a couple different types now but this one is just literally like clear so i just put this on all over my eyelid i'm just using my fingers just to rub that in you can also use a brush if you want but i find my fingers are a bit smoother because i've got loads of lines on my lid i really push it in especially on the inner corners to make sure it's all nice and blended so there's no cracks where there's no missing eyeshadow base you know and then when i get up higher i start to pat up here so that it starts to blend out it's not like a harsh line so I just put on some coloured contact lenses because I feel a bit bored with my brown eyes. I just like to change it up a bit, you know, especially when we're not doing glitter, not doing too... Well, I say we're not doing too much drama, but you know the drama's going to come, girl. <laughs> so the contact lenses that I've used today is from Luminous Lenses. They are really nice because it hasn't got that kind of black ring around it. These are called Luminous Hydro Clear Lenses and this is in the style Lazard. Okay, so now that you've got your eyelids primed and your contacts in, I'm going to go in with a nudie nudie colour. This one, maybe we'll dab with this one, <laughs> you know. I like to mix my eyeshadows all the time. So I'm just using a flat shader brush. Any flat shader will do. This one is called Medium Shader by Makeup Addiction Cosmetic. And I'm going to use this colour. It's called Caramel. And dip it into a little bit of Cleopatra as well. And then this is just going to go on the inner corners. It feels so different because I'm always packing glitter and shimmery eyeshadow in this bit. So to be putting a matte shade like this. Oh, this is quite a change for me, guys. If you don't have a colour like this, you can also use like a really pigmented face powder. Like a foundation powder. Like a light a shade that would also work well for this also you want to make sure you look down and then look to the side as well and that really stretches your eyelid to make sure you get in all the little creases because i have a lot of little creases in here so to make sure you don't miss that because you can really see that in matte eyeshadow textures so you want to make sure you look down look to the side and i hold my mirror to the side as well so that i can get right inside that corner without having to close my eye tweeze tips guys it's all about the mirror positioning mm, 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 mm. okay so with my smith brush the 232 brush you guys know this is my favorite blending brush this one and the mac 224 they're like very close in competition with each other okay so i'm gonna go in this shade it's called caramel and i'm gonna take a big fluffy shader brush and this is gonna be like my transition color i'm just gonna go in the outer corners and just start to edge out the smokiness because it's gonna be smoky on the outer corners and because this is my transition color i'm kind of bringing it here but mainly the eyeshadow is gonna be on this outer corner bit here and then when i have less of my brush that's when i start to move it on the inner corner just so it has that soft fade back into my nose contour which makes it super natural no it's really hard sometimes you always gravitate towards like the glittery shimmery shade but when you have a good matte shade to go inside your crease blend it out that's when it starts to look really airbrushed and professional yeah okay guys so i just done that on both eyes also when i'm doing this eyeshadow i literally go back and forth and i don't even mind if i go right on top of that nudie shade because it's gonna blend out so it's gonna look like light medium and darker and then the eyeliner hopefully is gonna be really nice and smoky that's how i envision it you know okay the next step i'm gonna take is i'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush than this blending one so this is the smith 235 brush so you guys can see it's a lot more tiny and this one's a bit more tapered as well it has a bit of a point to it and this is just gonna go 
right inside the crease with a darker shade. So I'm going to use Duchess, which is this dark brown here. And you also want to make sure you tap off the brush, especially with a matte shade, because you don't want it to fall out and ruin all your foundation and stuff. And I'm just grabbing my mirror. I'm looking down. I'm almost raising my eyebrows like this. I'm just wiggling this right on the outer corners. And you want to slowly build up the color intensity. I don't want to get rid of all that caramel shade that I created in the crease. This is just going to slowly intensify it. And I'm kind of doing this at an angle as well. So you guys see I'm not going straight up because I still want to see that caramel shade right in here. So I'm going more like an angle now. And this is going to make your eyes look really nice and elongated and more cat-like. Later on when we do our eyeliner, it's going to really blend in and make it look really, really smoky on the outer corner. So I'm bringing it more like 45 degrees rather than going up. And you literally just keep carrying on with this process until it gets darker and darker and darker. It depends how dark you want to go. If you want to make it really, really smoky, you can almost add a bit of black in there as well. And then what I'm finding now is that my eyeshadow in the middle here is fading a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with my big fluffy brush and that caramel shade. And I'm going to go on top even more and bring it in a bit more. So it kind of brings that colour back. And then go back in with my smaller brush and then really blending that out. So right now I've got three shades on my eyes. It starts from really, really light pale nudie. And then it goes to like a caramel warm orangey colour. And then right into that kind of dark brown shade okay then on the water i'm going to use this pencil from charlotte tilbury it's called rock and cold and it's in the shade bedroom black so all i do is literally pull down my bottom lash line like this with my pinky finger or if you don't feel confident with that just have a stand-up mirror and just pull the other lid down and do it like that i literally use my freaking pinky finger for everything so i literally just use my finger now pull it down and i go right on the skin at the bottom this is called your waterline and you want to make sure your black eyeliner is super creamy for this because this will be a pain in the ass if you have some cheap ass black eyeliner that's so hard to put inside your waterline if you want one that's like really creamy as soon as you put a pass on it is black and this is going right on the inner corners as well and i'm making it quite thick so i can really blend out my bottom lash line okay and then i'm also going to do my top lash line as well which is just in here my tight line i want to make this really black oh shit i just got black eyeliner all in here which is so annoying okay to fix that i'm gonna go in with my nude shade again i'm gonna pat that on top Okay, on the bottom lash line, I'm going to use a pencil brush, this is the MAC 219, and I'm just going to blend out that coal pencil. I'm using the dark shade inside this palette here, and I'm just going to smoke it out on the outer corners down here. With the tip of the brush, I literally just run it along. Also, I'm going to use my 235 brush that I used earlier inside the outer crease, and with whatever's left on this brush, because it's quite tapered, I'm using that to blend it out, so it's really nice to smoke it underneath. Okay, on the eyes, I'm going to use the eyeliner. This is the oldie but a goodie. It is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. This is such a good eyeliner, guys. I think they discontinued it, but you can still get it on Amazon. I tried to find some links for you where you can get it, but it's the best, cheapest eyeliner ever. It's got like a little brush on it, so I'm going to tilt my head back and start on the inner corners. And on the outer corners, I'm going to make this quite thick. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But so much eyeshadow in my eye, all my vision is so blurry right now. I have a separate video on my channel on how I do my liquid eyeliner and how I stick on my lashes, so check that out on my channel. Okay, and for the wing, I'm going to really push this out so it's more like straight out rather than going up you see that you see that it's going out rather than going up right to my hairline not up to my eyebrow like normal and then with my pencil brush again i'm going to go in with this dark shade here that chocolate shade and then i'm just going to smoke it out so it looks really nice and smoky you can also use a black eyeshadow as well i might do that okay, i'm going to use a bit of noir abh eyeshadow just any black eyeshadow would do when you put black eyeshadow on top of liquid liner it makes the most prettiest finish ever it really like makes it like smoky on the outer corners and then i'm going to bring it on the inner corners as well just right on top of that eyeliner so it's not like a really harsh liquid eyeliner line you know and i feel like with this look because i dragged it so far on inner corners i have to do like a little point you know to kind of round it off and make it really cat like so i'm gonna get my nyc liquid liner again if you're doing the inner corners you need to make sure this eyeliner is flat as possible so i'm literally wiggling off any excess so it's really really flat flat it's like a razor sharp and then i kind of hold my little pinky finger right on the inner corners and i just draw a point straight down so you want to kind of do it in like one sweep motion. A lot of people ask me how do I do this. I kind of make it a bit thicker on the inner corners. And then you want to make sure it just tapers to a point. And I really love this look because it makes your eyes a bit more like smoky and like close together. A lot of people struggle doing this. But it's all about like getting the eyeliner really, really flat. That's like the top secret. And then just using your pinky finger and resting it on like your nose. And one sweep down like that. 
once you've got that sharp point you just make the outer corners a bit more chunkier so the point looks even smaller you know yes cat ladder yeah i'm just gonna put on some lashes and i'll be back okay guys so i just put on my lashes these are brand new lashes i've never tried this style before but it's from a brand called lashfully yours she has the most amazing lashes if you love like really fluttery lashes definitely check out Cher, whitney and then this is chloe i think this might be my new favorite guys so so pretty they're like crisscross so they feel really really like full and thick and spiky so i think goes really well with this look so just to finish this look off i just received this package from colourpop it's in collaboration with i love sarah Yee. she is beautiful if you're not following karen especially on instagram she's just the most prettiest stunning lip goals hair goals of life you need to follow her she's so beautiful and she just brought out her new collection look this is how stunning she is she's so pretty hopefully one day i can meet her she just seems like such a nice person as well on snapchat and she created two eyeshadow palettes if you guys want a makeup look using her eyeshadow palettes comment down below and give me a thumbs up for this video so i know what to film next she also released three lip products and also three lip liners as well this is a color called curvy that is the most like amazing lip gloss ever so i'm gonna use that in this tutorial so the lip liner this is called curvy and i think she wanted this to be a bit darker so it gives a really nice ombre kind of finish to the lip so let's try color pop lip liners i actually don't even know they do lip liners it looks like it's gonna be really creamy so i'm just gonna line my lip oh it feels really smooth so i'll show you the lip gloss this is called the ultra glossy lip i've never tried any lip glosses from colourpop either i haven't tried much from colourpop to be honest and this is what the shade looks like i'll show you a swatch of it oh gold yes the applicator is really nice it's not too chunky as well it actually blends in with that lip liner really nicely i like it it feels really soft and creamy on the lip i find it really hard to find a good glossy lip gloss but i think this is a bit sticky like, when i talk can you guys see like, it starts to get like little strings yes I love this lip colour And I'm just going to take out my hair I had my hair curled yesterday By a professional at a hair salon So let's try to fix this up I took out all my extensions guys I'm trying to grow out my hair So if anyone has any suggestions down below Please let me know At the moment I am taking sugar bear hair This is not an ad by the way My friend gave it to me Because she said it really worked I'm going to let you guys know if it does work But I've used it for like two weeks now And I do feel like my hair does feel a bit thicker you know I don't know if it's just a placebo in my head But let me just fix this hair and i'll be back okay guys so that's it for this video i hope you guys liked how this makeup turned out i think this makeup look will be so good for anyone that's going to prom a special event you know a good night out i feel really proud of myself guys that i haven't used glitter i think i actually really like this look and i would actually wear this out maybe i should do this look next time i go to an event or something because normally i'm always like glitter 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 but today is matte 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 except for the lip <laughs> you can also do a matte lip if you want but i always feel like when you go matte on the eyes you need to have a bit of gloss on the lip so guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what else you want to see from me make sure you subscribe as well because i do upload on my channel twice a week and i'm bringing out loads of tutorials so please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every single time i upload on my channel please follow me on all my social media platforms so you get regular updates you can find me on instagram twitter snapchat and facebook guys is that all of them i think that's all of them <laughs> so guys i'll see you in my next tutorial enjoy the bloopers guys Mwah! Start again, start again. Oh, I talk too much. Ten minutes was it was just fucking swatches. Yeah. People want to see swatches of the palette. Oh, fucking ten minutes of it. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking getting a whole tutorial in ten minutes. You guys like my mirror as well? <laughs> I'm gonna hide that one, you know. Oh crap, the cold pens were set. Babe, what day is this video going up? Wednesday? Okay, let's do it like, all again because I didn't like any of that. My eyes are watering so bad, I've got freaking hay fever. Just freaking changed because normally in every glitter, I'm like, where's the...